we you were in the meeting with the governor, Jay Darden, the lawmakers from North Louisiana. Let's get your assessment. Uh, successful meeting, or are you a little worried? Well, number one, I'm, I am a little worried. Uh, I'm worried more more than, more about the individuals that attended the meeting and the so-called untruths that they were telling during the course of the meeting. You had people down there been elected that for two days, and they know more about the situation than anybody else. You have some people down there that was elected that just lied to the public. How so? How so? Give us some examples. Well, let me give you an example. They were saying what is going on at University Hospital is not factual. And everybody, every business, if you need a pacemaker right now, they owe the pacemaker people $2 million. They owe the elevator people right now $400,000. They have debts out there they're not, they're not paying. Why? Because they do not have the money. How can they support a medical center and they do not have the money to pay their bills? These people have been calling me all week. People have been calling me from the hospital. People who work there is leaking in the surgical portion. Those are the problems that you have. And people are standing up there and saying all type of things concerning that is not factual. What's the solution, Greg? What is the solution? Yes. We need to find a way to modify this situation where LSU will be able to control that hospital again. And then our problem will be eliminated. Undo the, un- undo the privatization deal? Well, not undo it because the state is not able to take on the employees anymore. We need a modified way where the medical school can run the hospital again through a nonprofit where we will not have the problems. We'll not have a money problem anymore. We'll not be fighting uh, uh, with the hospital every day. And it's just horrible up there right now because they cannot get along. How, how does a nonprofit solve the money problem? Well, not, not, let, me say, let me say it again. I said that the, the school itself, medical school, they have a nonprofit right now that can run that hospital, and that will, they will be able to control it again. And then the money problem will be resolved. And they're doing contractual services with all hospitals. Right now, it's getting ready to go in front of the board, LSU board, next week. The Rapids General, they have a contractual service. Uh, uh, Shepherd, they have a contractual service. Other hospitals in this in, in this region, and Willis Knight. Let me ask you this: the governor's plan essentially is a take it or leave it, and let Biomed continue to run the run the uh, the, the hospital, the operations. Is that the answer? Let me say this to you: I don't know what the governor's plans are. Okay, I don't know that. He did not tell us that yesterday. He made a statement that they're taking or leave it. That's not telling us nothing. They're not giving us the complete information. We need the complete information so we can make an intelligent decision. There was a measure that, that you voted uh, against. It was an Ed Murray measure, measure that would have given lawmakers approval over privatization deals. You voted against it, I guess, you know, at the request of then-Governor Bobby Jindal. Do you wish you could change that vote now? Now, which vote are you talking about? I only made about 2,000 votes. Now, which <laughs> vote are you talking about? The, there was the, a the, vote. Uh, there was a bill by Senator now, Ed Murray. that it would, Ed, Murray did not, Ed Murray did not have a bill to basically look at the, 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 the portion. No, that's not factual. Now, if you can tell me the bill, I can't go back and tell you uh, how many, what vote I made on 2,000 bills. If you give me a copy of the bill and let me look at it, and let me check the records. I can tell you better. If, if the bill would have done this, I can the, tell you every bill. Right. I can tell you every bill I'd have voted on. Gotcha. I understand. And it, it's just been. I'm getting so many messages, as you know, you are as well. Apparently, this would have given you guys, lawmakers, approval authority over the original privatization deal. Do you guys? Does the legislature need that authority? Yes, we do need that authority now. I don't know which bill you're talking about at this particular time. It was a resolution, but, apparently. And Well, and, uh, let me tell you, ma'am, a resolution is not a bill. Gotcha. Okay. okay. And, and a resolution is not anything but exactly what it says, a resolution. If, there were, if he introduced a bill, 
and it would be a law on the books, yes, I would have voted for it. Senator, we're talking to Senator Greg Tarver. Is Is the med school, is University Health, are they in jeopardy? The med school will not be in jeopardy. University Health could be in jeopardy, but someone will be able to walk in there and pick up and move forward. Let me say this to you. Right now, BRF do not have the funds to pay their bills, do not have the funds to deal with this situation. They owe LSU Med School money right now that they're not paying. They owe them approximately $13 million. They owe the people, the pacemaker people, $2 million. They owe the elevator people $400,000. They owe banking business money. They owe the trash man uh, waste management money. They just don't have the money to pay. What they're waiting on is October where they can get $200 million from the state. They are not resolving the problem. They're creating the problem. You're one of the leaders of the local delegation. You've been there the longest. Um, it it worries me when I hear and, and know that even our local delegation is down there meeting with the governor and you guys aren't agreeing on how to solve this. How do we expect other lawmakers to help solve it if our own delegation doesn't doesn't come in with a uniform approach? Does that concern you too? Yes, that concerns me. What really concerns me is people been down there two days, know more about the situation than people been down there 26 years. It also concerned me that you have lawmakers that are dealing directly with this situation, and they are not being factual to the general public. We we had some comments last week by uh, State Representative Cedric Glover, our former mayor, who said he's he's very suspicious that some lawmakers in South Louisiana don't think Shreveport needs to have a med school anymore. Do you agree? No. No one in South Louisiana have said this to me. I've been working with these people for 26 years dealing with the medical school. I, during my course of 26 years, Cedric Glover have never said anything to me about the med school. He know I held the appropriation for the med school. He have never said nothing to me in 26 years compared to the med school. And all of a sudden, he know more about the med school than anybody else. You know, I when I listen to you, and I'm I'm hoping the delegation comes together and you guys get on the same train and fight to keep the med school and university health viable. Are you hopeful that that can happen? Let me say this to you, ma'am. The med school is not going anywhere. Let me make it very clear to you. In no uncertain terms, the med school is going to be right here in Shreveport, Louisiana, because it's very vital to our economy of this area. It saves lives. It delivers services. It's not going anywhere. I'm tired of people coming up here with all these scare tactics. They're lying to the general public. LSU Med School in Shreveport is here to stay. Do you think the governor feels the same way? Yes, he feels the same way. The president of LSU system feels the same way. The president of LSU system have been up here more dealing with this situation at LSU and Shreveport than any other president since I've been in the legislature. He worked with us. He's trying to deal with the situation. It's a very difficult situation. What is happening, these legislators, some of them who are fighting the LSU med school, they're actually fighting the LSU med school. They're telling you to help them about the LSU med school. But what they're doing, they are hurting us nationally. We're not able to get the top-notch doctors to come here. And let me explain another thing. When you look for top-notch doctors, they look for top-notch money. And you've got to pay them to come. What is happening, the med school and the hospital, they're not working together. And you can't get the doctors because they're not, you're not going to have the funds to pay them. 